Well, hello, friends. Welcome to another fun and exciting cheat day review. And oh, oh, I am so excited for this item we're going to try today. And it's from Papa John's. And it's something called the Papa Bowl. Now, you're probably asking yourself, what? And, you know, a lot of people I've seen online already on Twitter and Instagram and a lot of places, they, they, ew, ew, that's sick. It's pizza in a bowl? Ugh. And these same people will probably drink beer. You'll get disgusted about pizza in a bowl, but when it comes to beer, oh yeah, that's great. So just to clear up what these Papa Bowls even are, let's read the official Papa John's website and see what it has to say. New Papa Bowls. Introducing our new crustless oven-baked Papa Bowls. All your favorite pizza toppings in a bowl, but without the crust. Whether you're looking to switch up your lunch routine or add the perfect pairing to your favorite pizza order, Papa Bowls are a fresh way to enjoy endless combinations of our most indulgent flavors. Only $7.99, limited time only. And then we get into what is a Papa Bowl? A Papa Bowl is a new creative way to enjoy all the Papa John's pizza toppings you love, but without the crust. Papa Bowls combine all your favorite pizza toppings in a bowl and bake them to piping hot perfection. No crust, just delicious vegetables, juicy meats, melty cheeses, and our signature sauces. Taste the richness from your choice of our carefully crafted flavors, including Chicken Alfredo, Italian Meats Trio, and Garden Veggie. Or build your own Papa Bowl using your personal favorite ingredients. So they have three signature Papa Bowls, and then there's also an option to build your own Papa Bowl. But the three that they have here are the Chicken Alfredo, which is a crustless oven-baked bowl of juicy grilled chicken, creamy Alfredo, and garlic Parmesan sauces, complemented by spinach, mushrooms, onions, and tomatoes, topped with a melty three-cheese blend and Italian seasoning. And then we got the Italian Meats Trio, which is a crustless oven-baked bowl of delectable Italian flavors. Pizza and Alfredo sauces layered with our signature pepperoni, sausage, meatballs, green peppers, onions, and tomatoes, topped with three melty cheeses and sprinkled with Italian seasoning. And then we have the Garden Veggie variety, which is a crustless way to enjoy your favorite crisp veggie toppings. Spinach, mushrooms, onions, green peppers, tomatoes, and banana peppers all oven baked in a bowl with our signature pizza sauce and garlic parmesan covered in three melty cheeses and sprinkled with Italian seasoning. All right, so this is a weird item. Let's just get that out of the way right now. But weird doesn't always mean disgusting and bleh. So let's get into the reasons why this thing was even created. So I did a little research as to why Papa John's would do something like this and this was completely off of my radar, but then again, I rarely go to Subway in the first place. But in January of 2021 last year, they debuted something called the uh, Protein Bowl, or they have these protein bowls that have all the toppings that would be in a Subway sandwich, but without the bread, and it's all in a bowl. Uh, apparently, they're still going strong. They're still on the menu on uh, Subway.com, i seen. So I feel like... Papa John's is trying to get into some kind of bowl game and they're cutting out all the carbs by not having the crust within the regular pizza toppings and everything else. So I guess it's just a way to enjoy the taste of a Papa John's pizza without the carbs. And it's probably something that they're aiming for people to want to order during lunchtime because usually when you order pizza, it's like dinner time or a big game or something. But for the average person... You know, you get, you're working at an office or something and it's like, oh man, I, I have a taste for a Papa John's pizza, but uh, I'd have to order a whole pizza. So I guess that's what they're trying to do here. Offer up something that doesn't have as many carbs as a regular pizza and could be an alternative. Somebody on the lunch break will want to order. So taking a look at these technical details of these Papa Bowls, uh, it was officially released August 22nd, 2022 nationwide. And it's sold for a limited time price of $7.99. These aren't sold for a limited time. I think they are trying to make this a, a new menu item that is going to be permanent. Or it could just be completely discontinued. We'll see. But let's try this thing out. When I ordered it, I got it in this box. 
Here is the pride and joy right here. The Papa John's Papa Bowl. Slide this out. Comes in this cardboard tray. And it's about, I don't know, half an inch or maybe a third inch thick from the bottom of this thing. Feels like it weighs about half a pound to a pound. I don't know. I'm not a scale. So what I ordered was a customized bowl. I mean, looking at the options that they had, I'm not a fan of the three meat trio or the veggies. Uh, and the chicken Alfredo, I felt like I would need just buy a chicken Alfredo bowl from Domino's if that was the case. Like, I want something that tastes like a pizza to get an authentic, you know, idea. It's like pizza without the crust. I mean, that's the whole appeal to this. So I made this customized Papa Bowl, and it's this. Extra cheese, three cheese blend, Parmesan Romano, beef, green peppers, and Roma tomatoes. A normal bake, and that was still for $7.99. You could add three cheeses or no cheese at all. $7.99, but after tax, let's see how much I paid. $8.64 altogether after taxes. Now, I did grab myself some special seasonings from Papa John's and uh, Parmesan cheese. But we're not going to doll it up with that right now. We'll do it after the initial eating and see how great it tastes. But if you have not tried the special seasoning from Papa John's, definitely pick these up. These are great just to sprinkle on anything. It's really good. All right, everybody. Here we go. The moment you all been waiting for. We are now going to try the Papa Bowl from Papa John's. Uh, the cheese is rather kind of stuck on there. I'm going to take this sliver out so you can see how thick or thin you think this is. It literally just looks like you peeled cheese off of the crust of a pizza. That's like all it is. Let's be civilized here and eat it with a fork. Get a nice chunk here right in the center. Just to get to the heart of the matter. Pretty good. You know what I just realized is this looks just like a casserole or something, like a pizza casserole. Just everything mixed together. You serve this for Thanksgiving dinner, you know. Hmm. So as you can see here, I'm about a third way through this thing. We'll stop right there for now. Okay, so it's very thin in this pan. Don't think you're getting a bowl and it's just stacked, you know. Very thin. It's spread out. Maybe they need to make these bowls smaller because uh, that may increase the chances of it not getting cold so quickly. I will say I did the right thing by adding veggies to this because, uh, yeah, it sounds like I ordered a lot of veggies. I put two, but that's very rare for someone like me to put any veggies on a pizza, so... If you are going to make a customized Papa Bowl, add veggies to it. Um, besides that, it's exactly what it should taste like. It's pizza without the crust. It literally is like you peeled off the cheese from a regular Papa John's pizza and ate it. Now, don't get it twisted. That's me giving the best description that I could give you that you could be familiar with. But this goes a whole lot deeper. It has a bit more sauce with it. It has an element of greasiness to it that uh, I felt like it wouldn't be as greasy. On the edge here, it kind of has a bit of a crust, which is actually really good. It is excellent. If you're curious, just as much as I am, we'll lift it up. So that's what the bottom of it actually looks like. The pizza sauce is at the bottom. Then you got the toppings and then the cheese on top. I think that's really all I can say. And it has all the familiar flavors that you come to expect from a Papa John's pizza. It's just kind of a weird experience trying to use it with a fork and you're just kind of cutting out piece by piece out of this thing. That's the only thing I would think 
that would make someone reject this automatically when they heard the concept is like this just seems weird uh, but you read it yeah it's papa john's pizza now i'm going to try this with a special seasoning because this stuff is just great there you go papa john's papa bowl a lot of cheese there as expected with the special seasonings it's even better trying the papa bowl on its own without any special seasoning what would i rate this out of 10 <coughs> as much as i was indifferent about the papa bowls it scores pretty high with me taste wise and everything else i give it an 8 out of 10 it's not a 10 because the experience is kind of just weird, but it's not bad. It's not awful. You got to go into eating a Papa Bowl with the mindset of if you want to take a lunch and you want something that's a little more cheaper on the menu, order a Papa Bowl. It's filling. You get the same taste that you come to expect from a Papa John's pizza. And uh, there's definitely more. I'm full already. This will fill you up. So for $7.99, it's a good deal. If they raise the price to it being like $10, I would say eh. But at the price they have it right now, it's good. 8 out of 10. Would I buy this again? It's possible. I'd say a maybe. Not a yes, not a no, but a maybe. Because chances are I'd probably just buy a Papa John's pizza if I'm craving Papa John's. But this isn't bad. All that being said, I do recommend you just creating your own Papa Bowl to your liking. Just like you build your own pizza. I don't know. I do that all the time. I never really order anything from the menu, like a signature flavor or anything. So yeah, going into this, I was kind of eh, but it's a win. Papa John Papa Bowls, 8 out of 10. Thank you guys for watching this cheat day review. I am DJ Glowing Eyes, wanting to remind you that it's okay to cheat every once in a while. See you next time.